I made a video, um, I posted it yesterday. <laughs> it's just a short, it was like 15 seconds or whatever. And it's a video recording of um, a man who's really angry and um, he is uh, casting the demons out of the, the witch that he's confronting. And, and it's, just a, it's just a voice recording like, you know, from a, a sermon or something. And this man's like raging, talking about, I, I cast you out in Jesus' name. I'm going to, um, I crush your spells, I crush your curses, blah, blah, blah. And he's like raging. So for his voice recording, I just did a little video and I was holding um, this. <laughs> And um, the title of the video when I uploaded it with his voice in the background was um, how to get rid of him. And I have done, you know, energetic severing, you know, an energetic bond severing um, for clients trying to get rid of the ex-narcissist like from their energetic body, from their etheric body, and which has to be done. This leads me to the next course I'm going to put together, so just bear with me. I'm getting there. We're going to get there. It's going to be good. And it's going to be popular. So, <laughs> I got a couple of funny reactions from the men on YouTube when I uploaded it there. The YouTube comments is where it's at. The men on YouTube, they they really, they, they tear me up uh, sometimes even worse than they do on TikTok. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> so on the YouTube video, I got a comment and it was, and I screenshot it at this time. I remember to screenshot it because I'm going to make a video about it later because it's funny. But some guy comments and says, do us all a favor and get off the internet. <laughs> so, and, but what they're not listening to is that when I get online and talk, I'm not talking about all men this, all men that, men. I, I say most. I'm very careful about what I say. I say most, and I say the vast majority, and I do things like that. I don't ever say all of them. I don't ever say all of them and uh, because I know better and <laughs> and I'm realistic so I'm not gonna say all of them because that's obviously not true but when I get on there and say uh, narcissist this that and the other there are so many undiagnosed um, men who <laughs> apparently identify with that with the things I say and they get real fucking angry and they will comment and tear me apart and say, well, you just fucking blah, blah, blah. And they'll just insult me or whatever. They try to hurt. They try real hard to hurt my feelings. I'm a little bastard. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I don't, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm also going to keep running my mouth. So uh, sit back, <laughs> just sit back and watch. Cause I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Um, and I'm not sorry. So, but they get on there and, and try to just like tear me to shreds over something I've said about narcissistic personality disorder. If I describe somebody who is full-blown NPD, and yes, I have studied it. <laughs> if I describe somebody who's full-blown NPD and you get real fucking pissed off and you comment and say, how fucking dare you, blah, blah, you might have a couple of those qualities. And you are feeling it, what I'm saying. And I, there's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about that. I, nothing. I'm only here to help women who are having to recover from that shit. That's my job, is to help you put yourself back together. So if you're a dude and you're watching my videos and your anger is just like welling up inside you and you're about to explode listening to the stories I tell about myself or my clients or whatever, <clears throat> or using examples or whatever it is, I, the, I can't help you. <laughs> I can't help you. You need to go to therapy. So, but what it led to was that video where I talked about that, how to get rid of him, quote unquote. Um, I was talking about doing spell work to, um, get him out of your fucking house and get him out of your hair and out of your life to physically get him out. And also after that to sever the bond energetically and get him out, you know, just out of your energetic fibers. So, um, cause y'all probably have a cord. Y'all probably have an energetic cord connecting the two of you and that needs to be cut. So, um, there, there's work to do with that. And this concept leads me to my next course I'm going to be putting together, which is, um, I don't, I haven't decided what to call it yet, but it's going to be, um, recovering from the ex narcissist for empathic women. Um, it's going to be something like that, but there are so many spiritual women and, and, you know, metaphysical, witchy, spooky women who draw in these men, you know, for, for a lot of reasons and they don't realize 
it just a, a lot of lines get blurred and a, a lot of things a lot of judgment is clouded and shit like that and it can be hard sometimes especially for the empathic or the witchy type or the metaphysical type or the spooky type woman who has not been taught how to control her powers and how to control her energy and and do it properly so, so as to help herself and to protect herself because because uh, most of us grown up most of us grown up most of us spooky women are not taught how to handle those things did any of you see my favorite show i'm about to say it <laughs> salem um with janet montgomery and um she gets on there i want to say it's like season two and she's talking to the redheaded girl i forgot her name um, but she's talking to the red-headed girl, and and the red-haired girl realizes she's a witch too, and has and and it's hereditary, and she's um she gets angry about something, and a, a knife flies through the room or something like that when she's talking to Janet Montgomery, and it like was just whizzes past her head, right? And Janet looks at her and goes, "I can teach you how to control that," and that never happens for us. No one ever says that. Like, that never happens. Who, who's going to step up and teach you to control that? So because you don't know what you're doing with that stuff, narcissists will come into the empath's world, you know, and come into their energy and, and just suck it dry. And um, th there's a lot of confusion there about how, about how it happened, what to do, and, and how to get away from it, and how to sever those bonds energetically. It's got to be done. Because let me tell you, I've had to do it for myself um, um, loads of times, loads of times. And uh, you have to do it because you're going to carry that son of a bitch with you energetically forever if you don't. So you have to, that's something you have to address. And once you let go of it energetically and subconsciously, all the rest of it, you're, it's like a new lease on life. It really, really is. So the new course is going to be about that. And um, I'll drop information, you know, I'll drop some facts later about it and, and let y'all know, you know, what what I'm cooking up, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm planning. But it's going to be a good-ass course. It's going to be thorough. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So um, if you are the empathic type or the spooky type and you want to know more about um, how to sever the bonds with the son of a bitch, it doesn't necessarily have to be a narcissist. If you have somebody in your past who wasn't necessarily an ex-narcissist, but is someone who just, <clears throat> you know, sucked your blood energetically, and you just need to get that, get rid of that person, whoever it was, the stuff that I'm going to say in the in the course is going to benefit you. So it's like, don't, you know, it doesn't have to be that specific for you. <clears throat> the stuff I'm going to tell you in the course is will apply. So, but I realize a lot of things. People who um, have bad intentions for you are going to be upset or bothered by you making moves to protect yourself and, and to and, and to make things right and to rectify things and to um, find your peace and such as that you know people who can't stand you are going to get real mad when they see you make moves to, to help yourself and that's why when women get online and say I had to do such and such energy work or you know cord cutting or spell or, or a revenge spell or a reversal spell or some shit like that in order to send his shit back to him. Just return to sender for God's sake. Return to fucking sender. You know, and when you're doing shit like that, the men will jump on there and there's two things they have a problem with. Number one, the fact that you believe there's something bigger than them, that they, they can't fucking stand it. There's You believe in something bigger than them and you're working with it. And two, um, the fact that you are uh, restoring balance in general. They can't stand that shit. They can't stand it. They don't want to believe there's anything bigger than them, and they sure as hell don't want to see anybody uh, giving them a taste of their own fucking medicine. I don't, NPD or not, I don't give a fuck. Some of these dudes don't have, we can't die. We, if we started to like look at diagnoses and look at this and look at the facts and look at the box that have to be checked, it would be like so much of the population, uh, it would be so many men on the uh, that would have to be dragged into the, the loony bin to be examined and treated that we probably wouldn't be any on the street. So it, it would uh, it would almost be unfair to, to everybody, or revealing if nothing else, but it would almost be a bit unfair to, to, to the world if we sat down and said, what actually is NPD and what is, what are the, what are the um, not requirements, you know what I'm saying? The, the, um, you know what I'm saying? The boxes you tick, right? <laughs> the list. 
what are they? And you go down the list of, of narcissistic personality traits and you start sitting back and saying, well, Jesus Christ, that's everybody I've ever dated, you know, and it's like, and, and there's so many of us who could say that and it's real scary because the NPD stuff is, is stuff that most men do quite naturally. The, the difference, if there is one, is that NPD, like full-blown diagnosed NPD hardcore, like real and true, they they do the same kinds of, of things, but it's just a lot more amplified. It's a lot more extreme, but it's the same avenue. Do you see what I mean? Same department. It's just worse, depending on who you're dealing with, and, and, and if somebody like, is like really and truly, you know, but they're already, they're, the stuff that they do on their own, of their own accord, and the choices they make and things like that is already going in that direction. Do you see what I mean? So when you read about this stuff, if you can get a Psychology 101 book and just sit down and educate yourself a little bit, it's, you're going to be shocked. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you won't be. But, you know, a lot of y'all will be shocked. And that's all I'm going to say. So I'll let you do the rest. If you want to, I, I highly suggest you, you get, uh, you know, any kind of good book on, on basic psychology and just basic stuff about the d different diagnoses and just read about it and see who is what. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people in your life you're going to think of be like, oh my God. So, and they'll never go to the doctor because they, they don't think there's anything wrong with them, especially narcissists. They, they, we'll get, the, but anyway, so try not to get off topic, sorry. But I, what I realized is that there is a, there is a great need to um, release uh, the narcissist from your energetic fibers and, and, and from your etheric field. And, um, and from your subconscious mind in in the energetic ways so um, I will be putting together a course for that like I say I'll let you know the info um, as I as I piece it together and um, it'll probably take me I'll, I should be done with it by by next weekend you know because I'm I, it's gonna be it's gonna be loaded so it's gonna take me several days to put it together um, I'm probably gonna do recordings because that's easier sometimes um, so I'll be doing video recordings for this and, and there's so much information, I wouldn't be able to write it up. I'd be, I may as well just write a whole book if I was going to do it in type. You know what I mean? Because a couple of my courses are written. But this one, it needs to be spoken. So we're going to do that. And, um, and just the importance of, of knowing you learn so much when you start to look at energy work and when you start to look at the way things add up when you start studying it and you start to let yourself see that aspect of life and you see how things add up, you're going to be, you're going to be like, well, shit, you know, you're going to feel a little bit bamboozled and at the same time you're going to be like, you know what? Nah, cause now I know. And you're going to have information and you're going to be informed and, um, you're going to know how to do things and how to protect yourself and, um, you know, how to, uh, seal holes in the etheric field and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to teach you how to do Reiki on yourself. I'm going to teach you, um, shielding. I'm going to teach you, um, reversal stuff, you know, if you need to send some shit back, if you don't need it, you know, reflection stuff, uh, I'll teach you, um, you know, and, and how to get him out of the house. If you, if you, you know, need to do something without there being any trace, um, energy work is the way to go. Magic is the way to go. It really is. And, and I don't, um, I don't, I don't say that to try to like pull you away from whatever your path is or whatever, do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you, um, severing the bond energetically between you and the ex-narcissist is a big fucking deal and you will see the difference once you do it um <clears throat> i also have it on my website if you go to my website and look at my links down there one of them says healing therapies if you go to healing therapies i do cord cuttings and all the rest of it so if that's something that you want or you think someone else needs just send them my way and i'll hook them up and and we'll just get it done we'll just get it done because i <laughs> if there's one thing i'm good at is that shit so um, that's why I put it on the website because I thought, you know what, this needs, this is needed, <clears throat> this is necessary. So um, you can explore that if you want. And um, <clears throat> I will say that my 12-week clients, everyone who is in my 12-week program, they have, um, they already have access to the healing therapies. I include that for them. So if you want to sign up and do a whole 12 weeks of me, we would, I would include that the healing therapy. You know, if you want to do a cord cutting or whatever, it would be thrown in. So you, you've already paid for it. Um, but besides that, if you're if you're not in the 12 weeks, you would just pay the regular price. Um, <clears throat> so, and then here and there, I teach you how to do stuff on your own too, um, and and that's in in the somatic work as well, like um, you know the brain spotting and the um, massage techniques and all the rest of it, and and 
you know, we'll probably do a little bit of lymphatic drainage and all that other stuff too. Um, so anyway, but that's, I want to get off topic. Sorry. Um, so that's just some stuff I was thinking about that obviously needs to be touched on. <laughs> um, but when you get out there and start saying, well, I'm going to do a spell work to get him, you know, out of my hair so that I can just have peace, you know, and, and do it without there being a big blow up fight. Well, I mean, there could be a big blow up fight. There have been times when I did a spell for something and like I argued with that person because I wanted them to leave and we ended up arguing whatever and then we did, we did split. And then so it does work. It's just going to, it's going to work in its own way. <laughs> so, you know, be prepared for things like that if that's something you want to do. You'll, you'll get what you want. It's just that you don't know how you're going to get it. So just be ready because it could be anything. Sometimes, you know, people don't go quietly. Sometimes, you know, there, there's an argument or two you know, bef that escalate before they, they do leave, but don't let that scare you. It, when it starts to happen, realize that that is, w you're working, doing its job. You know, like, if what you've done is is working. So, just look at it that way. Um, you'll get used to it. <laughs> so, so, but anyway, this, this is going to be a loaded, a loaded, loaded course. Um, I'm already thinking right now of all the stuff I want to put in it. And um, so, I got my notebook over there. I'm going to take some notes and just write some stuff down, write down some ideas. Um, I don't script my courses or script anything when I, when I film or whatever. So, you know, all this shit is, um, intuitive and it's just like I improvise. So I'm just like channeling that shit and I just give it to you. So, um, sometimes, you know, that's why my videos are different lengths and stuff like that. Cause I'm just like, I'm doing it as, as I think of it. Um, that's it for now. I just figured I would give y'all like a little update on what's up and <laughs> and just let you know that those are things I've been thinking about and the things I've realized. I was thinking for a while that I wanted to do the um, healing from the ex-narcissist for the empath or whatever I said. I've been considering that for a while and I knew I wanted to put it together and I was like, I gotta wait until I'm ready. I gotta wait until it feels right. And after doing How to Be a Bad Bitch, I've decided that it's time to do the the healing for the empath so <clears throat> we're gonna do that and i'm gonna put that shit together and it's gonna be bomb so um i think i'm gonna leave it at that it was just a little update i figured i'd let y'all know what i was thinking about and um stay tuned <clears throat> also for the rest of today <clears throat> i'm gonna um well maybe not the rest the rest of the day like sometime this afternoon i'm gonna i'll change the price for the um how to be a bad bitch course so it's 9.30 right now. I have some things I need to do. And um, and later on this afternoon, I will up the price because it's got to be the same as my other courses. It's going to be 100 bucks. So if you still want to get in on it for $50, please jump on it now because there's a few hours left and then it's going up. Um, this course, <clears throat> How to Be a Bad Bitch, I Believe from the Ex-Narcissist, is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's loaded. It's long and drawn out you're getting your money's worth you know what I mean like you know don't don't ever worry about that with me <laughs> you're getting you're getting a lot and it's just deep stuff is my live it ended my Facebook live ended what the hell I didn't I didn't end it well it was 18 minutes. I'm not re-recording all that. Look. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, anyway. <sighs> I don't know what happened there. Um, but it, this went into my video anyway, so I don't know why Facebook Live just quit on me, but it did. Um, hopefully my video is there. I guess it is. So, but that was, that, that's just the stuff I've been thinking about lately and, and, um, the new project I'm going to be working on. So, but like I say, you can tell a lot if you put, if you make a video or put a message out there of what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate, um, that in general alone will show you people's true colors and, and what their intentions are for you. You're going to see right away. So, so after I did that video and said how to get rid of him <clears throat> and I talked about, doing spell work to release yourself from the ex-narcissist and, and, and to get him out of your life so you can just live a normal life like a fucking human being. I got real bad reactions from a lot of men from that. And that, like I say, that <laughs> they don't like anything. They don't like the concept of everything being above them, but they also can't stand the concept 
of you breaking free from being treated like trash. And what's weird is that I'll say narcissist this, narcissist that, NPD, NPD, they do this, they do that. And there's a lot of men who, you know, may or may not be diagnosed who pop up out of nowhere and really identify with the shit I say and try to tear me to shreds about it. Really, I don't give a goddamn. I'm going to be real with you because I'm still going to say what I'm going to say. I'm still going to run my mouth to the bitter end. It doesn't matter. I'm going to teach no matter what. So you're not going to shut me up unless you come down here strapped and be ready because I'm ready. So think, think before you do it. But if it's not that, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk. I'm going to talk. And I, I don't feel bad about it. I never have. I never have done. So that's the kind of attitude you know that you have to have if you want to um, get through life in this in this modern world because this is not a, a safe place for people who who don't talk and don't stand up for themselves and don't you know put their foot down and you can't um, you can't get through this life living that way where you just kind of hang your head and let people do as they want as they please so you can't do it so uh, there's no damn reason for women especially witchy, spooky, mystical, metaphysical, you know, um, energy worker type women to have, you know, handfuls of shite hurled at them <clears throat> and to not hurl it right back. If you can do a simple reversal spell and get somebody to taste their own medicine and get away from you and run in the other direction, I, I don't see the harm in that. I really don't. They shouldn't have fucked with you to start with. They shouldn't have. People don't realize this, but, but being like a witchy woman is the dark feminine. Like, Heart like through and through. It is the it, it hardcore the dark feminine. It just is, and that's actually a really good video. And I should do that. I should do a topic like that. But um, you know the 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 energy work and the cord cutting and all the rest of it and the cleansing, the energetic cleansing and the reprogramming and the water programming and everything else that is required sometimes to get the ex narcissist out of your fucking hair and out of your life and out of your energy field and out of your etheric fields, for example, is it, that's a lot of work sometimes because they burrow in there and you have to just scrape them out you gotta do it but it can be done but when you talk about it and when you do it people who have bad intentions for you are going to show their true colors real fast and you'll see who had bad intentions for you and who didn't you'll see real quick so <clears throat> that's what the next course is going to be on is shit like that we're going to go deep with it it's going to be thorough like all my other stuff is and um and that's it so um, I just figured I would give y'all an update on what's up and, and let you know what's, you know, what I got cooking. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.